Marie Kondo, we need to talk. She's taught us a lot about tidying up. I am Marie Kondo. But as a tech guy, I think she's missing one very important cleaning tip. The life-changing magic of not throwing things away and keeping them in the cloud. In Kondo's Netflix show, she has people dig through mountains of old photos, papers, records, and family mementos to throw away the ones that don't spark joy. When I see this, I think, these poor people! It's 2019. Precious memories and even old paperwork don't need to go in the trash. They need to go online. Up here in the cloud, I have every single photo I've ever taken, 300,000 of them. And they're all available here on my phone. Nowadays, you can be a digital maximalist and still tidy up, thanks to Apple iCloud, Google Photos, Microsoft OneDrive, Adobe Creative Cloud, and others. I asked Kondo what she thinks of my view. She said, tidying up is not about accommodating the size of the space you have available. It's about choosing what to keep because it sparks joy. Just because the cloud has endless space available doesn't mean you have to fill it. I think that's true, but the cloud can also make it easier to part with sentimental items and even to get more enjoyment out of them. So I've got an internet update to the KonMari method. Call it the Con Jeffrey method. Step one, thank your phone and laptop for their service. Okay, you don't actually have to do this. There's a monthly fee for most cloud storage, but $1 a month for 50 gigabytes will seem like a fantastic deal once you do it. Any big name cloud provider can do the job of storing your stuff and making it available on your phone, tablet, laptop, even TV. Google's is less expensive and does the best job at sorting. Apple's is built into its devices and puts an emphasis on privacy. Adobe's Lightroom is pricey, but amazing for people who edit photos. Okay, now you've got to get your stuff up into the cloud. Or is it that way? Or that way? If you've got an iPhone, iCloud Photos will automatically upload a copy of everything you snap. Or Google Photos will do that on an iPhone or Android phone. Bonus, your phone will no longer complain about running out of storage. The apps manage what to remove from your device in the background. <sighs> what about ye oldy timey physical photos? I've even got old slides. Well, I shipped my old albums off to a service that scanned them for me. Or Google has a really cool photo scan app that makes it pretty easy to scan with your phone. Scanning old photos also keeps them safe from fire and floods. Storing your stuff in the cloud also makes it easier to enjoy. Google and Apple both use artificial intelligence to sort your photos into memories for you to rediscover. Location tags, timestamps, and facial identification make it remarkably easy to find photos of specific places, times, and people. The cloud providers are even smart enough now to sort through images and files based on their content. Here, Google has made a collection of every receipt I've ever snapped. Now I'm gonna ask it for photos of goats. Looks like I've met a lot of goats. One other important point. The cloud isn't just for photos. You can use it to store old paperwork, letters, drawings, music, even home videos. I've even said goodbye to old clothes by snapping a photo. This was my first concert t-shirt. Ah, in vogue. Free your mind. To me, algorithms tidying my cloud brings as much joy as condo folded clothes. Maybe more, because I don't have to do the folding.